Hey everybody, welcome back to another Stoneface Reactions. I'm Griffin, that's Theta, and we're here to watch The Witch from Mercury. We watched the prologue together, and honestly, we loved it, and it looks like all of you did too. And we are absolutely excited to watch this series, I think. I hope there's less crying. <laughs> oh, I hope there's more crying. I cried at the prologue, then I watched other people react to the prologue and cried. Then I edited our re-recording of the prologue and cried. <laughs> I don't know. I think I brought it up in our chat before to our Made in Abyss reaction. Because in our Made in Abyss reaction we recently recorded the episode where something bad really happens to one of the characters. And no effect on me there. But hearing somebody sing happy birthday brought me to tears. So it's very, oh, yeah. it's a very odd effect. Here, of course, I'll claim the camera is watching me, so my reaction is different. But that was, it definitely was impactful over here. Uh, but, you know, I'll definitely, I'm definitely going to enjoy watching this if they get the exact same quality that they did during the prologue. I want to see more of it. Well, I mean, let's just go ahead and recap what we know about the series so far, starting with Griffin. Uh, okay. Uh, from what we learned from the prologue, uh, Gundams are machines specifically to let people go out into space more easily. They require you to kind of synchronize with the machine. A lot of people aren't very good at it, but everyone is getting better. But some people think that they're made basically only for war and they want to get rid of all of them. So we have two factions, one which wants to explore space using them, and another one which wants to get rid of them entirely. Probably for underhanded reasons, but you know, it is what it is. Our main protagonist is someone who, as a baby, instinctively synchronizes with the Gundams instantaneously, easily, and perfectly. Uh, and of course, now her family is dead. Well, no, her mother survived because she was doing the piloting. Is that uh, it? That, that's all I know. Other than that, I know uh, they're going to Mercury, and the series is apparently going to evolve a school of some type at some point. Well, well, I'll jump in with what I'm best at. Corrections! Yes, please, correct me. Well, uh, I think the Gundams were something uh, specifically different from mobile suits, as they typically are in these shows, and that they use mobile suits to go into space. The Gundams eat away at your life force. People die from using the Gundams, which is what they were specifically against, in that they said, in war, a person should kill another person, and not machines killing people. Yeah, and I think that's a usual, like, Gundam through line, isn't it? It's like, machines shouldn't be used to automatically kill people. No. And we even saw that in Iron-Blooded Orphans. Yeah, but that, I think that's specific to Iron-Blooded Orphans as well. It's not the through a line through all of Gundam. It, it, it's more, it's something that keeps popping up and is a note they keep making. Like, in Gundam Wing, they're like, the mobile dolls are bad because they're automated machines. It's not even fair because they're not human. Again, though, uh, Iron Blood Orphans is the most recent one to come out to The Witch from Mercury, so it's more of a connection between the last two Gundam series. Yeah. There doesn't really that thought in the original Gundam series. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, and, it could um, just be an observation that's been brewing for a while, but continue. Uh, another major thing is that the corporations are the ones that are against the Gundams, in that they, I don't know how they asserted any political will, but they did, and they're the ones that made the determination that uh, there should be no more Gundams. And then, at the same time as they were announcing their findings, is when they launched the assault on the asteroid base. Right, right. They they timed it perfectly, specifically so that no one would see it coming. And specifically, I don't know if their thing is a Gundam or a mobile suit, but they have one specifically made to shut down Gundams. Okay. You saw that in the very beginning when all the Gundams come out to fight it, and he, like, EMPs them and then kills them. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that definitely happened. Yeah, so they have a, basically they have a Gundam killer. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's see. Is that, uh, all of your observations? Uh, let's see. The main character was four years old. Uh, in the prologue, obviously, there's going to be some sort of time jump because we saw the trailer, and she's no longer four years old. Mm-hmm. 
No, I want to see the four-year-old <laughs> baby series. I want to see them fighting them and killing more people. I mean, that's basically the whole Jesus thing, right? Jesus yeah. goes from a baby in a manger to a man. For for the next 20 years, he did some carpentry, we guess. <laughs> anyway. But yeah, Dad's dead. Yeah, Dad's dead, and I think the only last thing of any importance I will note is they updated their technology. They have Zoom now. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. They they Their video chat software. They've updated it. <laughs> I mean, they have video chat and all the other ones, too. Uh, it's different. It's more, this series has modernized the future technology to more mimic what we're seeing right now. Because, of course, times change. They have and it's just always funny to notice that. They have and video like chat it. in the original Gundam. Right, but it was always like, um... It was always different. It's, it's a different feel, is all I'm saying. I don't get it. It's, again, it's video chat. The feel again, is on joke you. Joke observation. I just find it funny. <laughs> Say the video. The feel is on you. I don't know how else. To... <laughs> it's literally a picture on the screen. <laughs> well, this whole series is going to be feels, I hope. So, uh, let's get into it. <laughs> Now here's going to be a fun thing to put a finger on. Does the Ariel have a personality? We'll discover that during the series. I also appreciate that the space suits look space suity. Oh yeah. Not like form fitty, look at my boobs. My ass really sticks out in the spacesuit. <laughs> hey, is that Zoom that you mentioned? <laughs> This is like that uh, scene from Starship Troopers where she's like proving that she can fly it. Oh gosh. <laughs> I mean, just a complete disregard for everybody around them. Turns out they were just having a nap. Or impossibly a, no, no, I'm fine. Yeah. <laughs> yep, they were just fine. Yeah, let's get some of that opening credits. Doesn't exist. Ah! Checked me. Do always love the uh, circular habitat.
I am Haru. Students, look to your left, look to your right. Some of your Gundams might not make it through this semester. Well, none of them, none of them should have Gundams. <laughs> I really do like the way the mobile suits move in this now. It really harkens back to like a 8th MS team. Yeah, they got like a really uh, heavy weight to them. Yeah, more robotic and not like human movements in giant form. Also, large dirt battlefield on a curved surface. <laughs> At the very least, you can't overshoot, right? Yeah, that two-tone hairstyle we mentioned in the uh, other thing we were doing before. Yeah. Hasn't been to school, but is in the elite transfer. It's from a place nobody really knows much about. Oh, wow, we already got the mean girls going on. <laughs> Ah, uh, the Superman quality of my mother made it for me. はい。責任 <laughs> 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 yes, talk about it in public. It'll work out perfectly. I'm just heavily observing the hairstyle of the, the twist that goes up into a full peacock at the top. Yeah, the massive cowlick. Intramural Gundam fights. Four shields, that's good. Or, you know, nano lanamid armor, like our little orphans. <laughs> you know, along with hey, all the, the other code. witnesses. <laughs> the dress code gets really light for upperclassmen, doesn't it? I might have to say this character who's trying to kill everybody might be my guy. <laughs> Only because his name is four thirds of my name. <laughs> he's literally hey, good enough reason. He literally has my real life name plus one letter. Of course, I don't know the Japanese way. Them saying it first kind of makes it his surname, right? So literally, yeah, we have like, almost the same surname, but he has one letter extra. Oh shit, I know what I'm in store for. I'm choosing the guy to be made an example of. Oh, he's he's definitely full of antagonist energy, though. 
Second opening. Nope, never mind. <laughs> Can't wait for fourth opening. Tadaima. There's one of the ladies, there's two uniformed men standing outside your house staring at it. It's okay, it's just the FBI checking them out again. At our school, underage girls can be forced into wedlock by failing a duel. Oh, she's the daughter of one of the major bad guys and all of these weird women. Oh boy. Ask. Giant mask. <laughs> Shark loan incoming. あかじを垂れ流すものは我がグループに必要ない。以後グループ内系列優勝を停止することにする。お待ちください、デイメソサイ。そんなことをすれば我が社は潰れてしまう。そうだ。潰れろ。財務諸表を見れば改善は可能です
<laughs> oh, I thought she did the back slap thing. ベネリットグループご参加の御曹司で決闘委員会の筆頭で現在のホルダーだ。ホルダー。決闘で選ばれた学園ナンバーワンのパイロットだ。それでもでも悪いことは悪いです。無理ですさんに謝ってください。ここ
I was wondering how the hell... I knew she was going to get into the mech. I was wondering how the hell it was going to happen in the middle of a fight. Turns out by Scooter. Also, very weird <laughs> that we're now reproducing the, the prologue. When you sit in your lap, I'm a better <laughs> Gundam pilot when I'm sitting in the lap. I do like how they uh, reprise the intro where they headbutted each other too. Right, Ariel is her sister, technically, the way they count on it. Yeah, that's the way they view each other. Feels like the higher up you are, the less clothing your uniform requires. Exactly. <laughs> Really loose dress clothes for upper class <laughs> Thankfully, it seems like this guy's not even aiming. <laughs> Again, showboat, so that can check out, actually. <laughs> Here you go, jerk. I block from eight different directions. We'll see how long this lasts. <laughs> I mean, the Gundam has to have some sort of level of autonomy to be able to control all those things. Right. Oh wow, completely destroyed. They just instantly recognize it. <laughs> Can't kill him now if your son is now bottom totem pole. Oh yeah, it completely ruins everything. Because <laughs> apparently the other guy's gonna end a dueling or something. Congratulations, you're now the top duelist at the school. There we go. <laughs> Those are the rules. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's just that's just cute. <laughs> that was the thing I was breaking up before, and the other thing that was unavoidable that I couldn't miss was the nice to meet you, Mike Boom part. Right, right. Uh, that was definitely a lot of fun. It, it definitely had to set up everything that was going to happen, but I think it all it's all sensible at least, right? I guess in this aspect, the people saying Gundam and Gundam, that Gundams have been out of commission for like, what, 10 years? Over the different right. 10 years now? So now they're just like, oh hey, it's one of those things. I guess one of those is alive. I appreciate that they keep bouncing back to her as a baby. Mm hmm in the outro that I clearly can't make visible. The the only thing that doesn't immediately make sense is the fact all the upper class matches have less and less clothes. <laughs> but that's probably more just the factor of like they have to have an interesting unique design going about them. Or showing off their privilege by doing so. Exactly. 
It's not pointless, it's just fun. Uh, or maybe oh, the child also... is uh, the visual representation of her sister, which is Ariel. I think that makes sense. I really want to learn more about uh, what Ariel is at this stage, if they are actually more or less like that. Next time, they talk about why this is so awkward and strange to everybody. Ah, huh, they don't do a visual thing. They did that mm. like Jikai, which means next time, by the way. That's why I named okay. characters in RPGs Jikai. I'll leave the concept up next time. Alright, that makes sense. So yeah, I, I dig that. That was fun. That was a good introduction. We we know what's happening, we know the stakes, and we kind of know most everyone involved. I don't know what J-N-T-H-E-D stands for. Um, Joint Nebula Task Force? I don't know. <laughs> Mobile Suit Gundam. Ja Niche. The. <laughs> Hercury. ED. I, I guess that's just how you, uh, would. Uh, abbreviate it into Romanji or something. That's what the words look like. Nah. You, you got me on that one, actually. Alright, well, episode one, though, we got our first connection. Like the character romance. I don't know if it's gonna be a romance, but seems it's to be. be a romance. <laughs> I mean, it seems to be that way. In the way that she said, "You Mercurians must be very conservative. This is <laughs> fairly normal around here." Um, and then we have our first rival. If he can still remain a rival, I don't know if that bubble suit's easy to put back together. Mm -hmm. We have the uh, subplot about what's going on with our antagonists from the prologue who are now, you know... Doing business assassinations. Well, keeping their business in the black by cutting out the red. And, mm -hmm. um, well, no, because the uh, guy who was in charge of that was the one who was going to get assassinated. They're not doing assassinations. They're backstabbing. Right, right. But that was the guy who's Ghoul's father, I guess, trying to assassinate the president of the company before he can uh, make duels no longer a thing, which then confuses me as to about the nature of the main character's chief duelist status, if that makes them the groom of the other woman, if they're going to get rid of duels, who does she then remain still the groom? Good question. They they set up a weird system specifically to get ahead because they thought they could get away with it very easily, and now it's just kind of turning back on them and going, wait a second, someone actually good showed up. Um, the two things I want to comment on real quick are, uh, so we have our new girl pop into the mech, and immediately it just does not really work out for her. So we've already clarified, only our protagonist can use the cool Gundam. Well, remember, they don't, she doesn't have access to the layers... <clears throat> According to the yeah. uh, heads-up display, didn't even try to access it, which, they, once again, we already knew. The layers yeah. of stuff was part of the reason why Gundams became outlawed, because they need to wait your life for us. And they yeah, don't and why would you that. teach someone at this piloting school to do that when, one, they don't exist, and two, it would be dangerous anyway? Well, I'm pretty sure that one is the reason, and not two. Mm -hmm. The fact that they don't exist is probably a good reason not to teach them how to do it. And the second thing I, I just want to comment on, and that's very funny to me, is the idea that one of those shuttles still has all the explosives on it. They're just going to keep using it, and I just want to, every single episode to end with that guy, same hallway, waiting to press the button and just going, not today. <laughs> I don't know, I don't think I want the comedic uh, supervillain standing there. I don't want Claw from Inspector Gadget just watching a screen all the time, waiting to kill the somebody. Right, right. It, it would be it would be too comedic, too Saturday morning. But it, in my heart, that's what I imagine because I I love humor. <laughs> it's just goofy. Uh, but yeah, I think that's all the comments I have. Do you have anything else? I'm sure I'll think of something while I'm editing, which will be far too late. But yeah, perfect. Nothing right yeah. Now. <laughs> in that case, this was the witch from Mercury. We had a great time, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and wrap it up here. This has been Stone Face Reactions, everybody. I'm Griffin, that's Theta, and we'll catch you for the next episode. See ya. 
Hey everybody, thanks for watching another Stoneface Reactions. If you have an idea of another video we could go ahead and watch, go ahead and put it in the comments down below and we'll add it to the wheel. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and let us know what you thought about this video and what parts you liked. And until then, we'll see you next time. Is this too goofy?